All right, for our fifth recipe, I'm super excited about it. It's full-on deconstruction of the Caesar salad. We're going with anchovy ice cream. So the first thing we're gonna start with is we're gonna sweat out a leek. When you clean a leek, the best thing to do is soak it for a little while in water. Usually I try and do it around uh, 15, 20 minutes or so, but you can do it less time if you need. It'll just be a little bit more effort to clean it. Now, once you soak it, you're gonna cut it open lengthwise, open it up, and just like a book, you can kind of go through all the little leaves inside to see if there's any grit. And what you'll do is you'll clean out the grit if there is some, get it nice and clean for yourself, ready to cut, okay? So what we're gonna do is just we're gonna cut this. About half a leek is all you really need. And I said before, we're gonna sweat it. Now what sweating is, is just like it sounds. You're gonna heat up this leek until all the juices flow out of it because it's nice and hot. You don't wanna saute it. You don't wanna get it jumping off the pan, basically. You just wanna keep it heating nice and evenly throughout its time. So we're gonna place it on the nice low flame. Now, here's my bowl. Next up. Got some heavy whipping cream, about one and a half cups of it. And basically whisk it up into a nice thick substance here. So while it's going, it usually takes a couple minutes. You can do it by hand. If you want to go really quickly, you could use a hand mixer or even a stick blender if you want on a low level. Now once we get all these ingredients together, we're actually gonna freeze them. We'll get to that in a minute. Now kind of going back to ice cream machines. You can pick them up at most food stores. An inexpensive one is gonna range you anywhere from about 50 to $80. They're great to have in your house for your family, your friends. If you have kids, it's an amazing way to save money if they're used to eating ice cream a lot. So it looks like our leeks are just about done sweating. Take those off, let them cool. And I'm gonna let them cool here in this little bowl. And back. Give that a good two to five minutes there. Now, along with this comes everyone's favorite, the anchovies. This is gonna create all the flavor for me. So we're gonna need to finely dice about three fillets. Get some flavor in there. Don't be afraid, get your hands dirty. All right, we're just gonna dice these up. Nice and thin, because the machine is not gonna do the dicing for you. So you need to get in there and just get it into small pieces. Beautiful. Make sure they're all diced up. Place that in the cream. Mix it up a little bit. Just a little though, nothing crazy. Now I'm gonna get a little crazy. You don't have to do this at home, but I got an adventurous palate. So we're gonna put a little bit of anchovy oil in this just for a little bit more flavor. Just a little bit, oh, there we go. Our leeks should be done cooling. Get those in there. A little mix. All right. Now once this is all mixed up, what you have to do is you're gonna place it and let it cool for about 20 minutes before you put it in the ice cream form. All right, everybody, it's been about 20 minutes cooling this little form. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to assemble the ice cream maker. Get this thing going. There's your base. Here's your core. Now your core is gonna freeze in the freezer for as long as your instructions on your machine tell you to. So there you go. Middle and the top. Make sure it's secure. And then all you're gonna do is just pour this in the top. Nice and easy. Make sure you get all your pieces. Once that's in and secure, press the start button and you're good. Now this usually takes about 20 minutes for itself to actually get going and get your ice cream ready. So I put this off to the side and we're gonna get started on our lemon vinaigrette. First thing I'm gonna start off with, quarter cup, extra virgin olive oil. Two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Give it a little roll, get that little extra juice out of there. Now, I'm gonna show you a new utensil as well. Just a little lemon squeezer. You can pick them up at the store anywhere. They're really inexpensive. Makes the juice come out so much easier. So, two tablespoons. This is, a this is actually two tablespoons I'm measuring right now. One, and then you get a little extra squeeze on the extra half. Just to be safe. There we go. Okay, we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. There we go. A clove of garlic going back to the press. 
Just gotta press, less mess. Salt, a little bit of pepper. Whisk this all up and do a nice vinaigrette. That's good. That's good. We're gonna put that off to the side, chill it for a little bit, and get ready for our anchovy ice cream, guys. All right, guys, the anchovy ice cream is done. It's time for a little bit of presentation. Got the scoop. See the leeks actually in here, little bits of anchovy. Let's go full, full big. There we go. See the leek there. We'll put a little bit of vinaigrette over it and then add a little extra toppings. There we go. Some Parmesan shavings there. And add a little extra on the side for. Good measure. Shredded romaine. And of course, crouton. Set it all off. Look at that. That is one amazing presentation. Now the key thing here, how does this thing taste? A little nervous, not gonna lie. Try and get a little bit of everything here. A little Parmesan, a little lettuce. Vinaigrette. Here we go. Nope. Don't really like this one. Not really that much, but I'll tell you what. There is a creaminess to it that really is amazing. Almost like a Caesar dressing creamy. And then you obviously have the Parmesan, the lemon vinaigrette gives a little kick. I got a little, little taste of the anchovy. There's not much anchovy taste. It's just a combination of things I'm not used to. You know, salad, ice cream, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of crouton. But nonetheless, food deconstructed.